Tennessee into course practice test for Algebra 1. This is question number 55. This is a little bit of a different look than uh, may have seen uh, in the past, I guess, or what I've been doing in my room. Um, so this is an absolute value question. Really, all they're asking you to do is rewrite it. So you know that an absolute value question delves into the idea of the absolute value part stays the same, so it is absolute. And we simply make an adjustment for uh, the component that's outside of the absolute value. So I'm going to keep 6 minus 3 in, and this is two problems. Uh, 6 minus 3 in stays for both. Now in the original, I'm going to keep the less than or equal to 27 that I had in, in the first part. <clears throat> for my alternate, or what would be the negative, I'm going to change the sign of that 27 and flip the inequality over. Now to get it to start to look like this, what I'm trying to get it to look like, I'm going to put the numbers in numerical order the numbers on the outside. So negative 27 goes here and 27 goes right here. Now I need to take a look at their relationship to the middle term. Negative 27 is less than or equal to 6 minus 3n. Conveniently, 6 minus 3n is less than or equal to 27, so 27 is actually greater or equal to so my answer looks like that. So I'm basically just rewriting it. It's kind of hard to see. Sorry about that. So it's more like you just set up the problem and then see what it looks like when you do it. And you can see that it's not going to uh, change that much. But this says that it gets it's uh, less than and then less than again. So I'm going to look for that twice right here. This says that negative 27 is greater than. So that's out. This says negative 27 is greater than. In fact, these say uh, this says that negative or 27 is somehow less than negative 27, which makes no sense. So it's got to be this one because you have that nice little mathematical statement.